Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you for joining me today. On this episode, I'm going to see if I can't take all of this electric stuff that I have. Uh, pliers, wire strippers, wire nuts. I want to put them all in one location. And I think I'm going to use one of these empty DeWalt cases that you get when you buy a tool. Every time I have a job, I end up just throwing all my tools in the back of the truck or I'll put it in uh, one box or something and take it out with me. I rarely use these tool carrying cases. Uh, so let's, uh, let's find one that's gonna work. I think the best thing to do is start fresh and just cut all of this insert pieces out and then I can custom make uh, something out of wood that all fits in here and then when the lid closes it doesn't all go everywhere. Uh, now I'm gonna do the other side, but you guys don't need to see that. Yeah. <sighs> Just got a little minerals, mineral spirits here. Just wanna kinda clean up everything. Dust and dirt and grime. So, the top's pretty smooth, but the bottom portion's not, and that's okay. So I'm gonna put plywood down here and build little compartments. Uh, I don't think I'll put plywood on top. I don't think it needs it. So I cut a piece of this quarter inch plywood that I have to, uh, in this case, I believe it was a 14 and a quarter by, Ten and three quarters or something like that. All cases will vary. Cases. In my case, that's what this was. <laughs> In my case, the measurements were okay. Uh anyways. I am now going to kinda try to see if I can notch out around here. Gonna do some sketchy. Do da, do da. 
Oh, but I don't really get hurt. Oh, anyways, oh, I don't know. I don't know! I think that's gonna work. All right, instead of opening up a tube of liquid nails, I actually have this little guy here with a cap on it. I don't know if this stuff is as good. It's white, it's not that cream color that I'm used to, the constructed adhesive, but I'm just going to apply some on here along this raised part. And along these couple of raised parts right here. And I want a faster grab, so what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna put that in here. Squish it. I'm gonna let that sit for uh, two to three minutes. I think while I'm doing that, I'm gonna round down these corners. Well, it's been a couple of minutes. I forgot to hit record, but I ran it over the corners as you see here. And I believe that fits a little better. I think I'll let that dry for a little bit. Yeah. So I took a measurement from here to the top is about an inch on this side. And from the highest point over here, it's a inch and five eighths. So I went ahead and I cut down some of this uh, quarter inch plywood I had to uh, two and a half inches so I have a whole bunch of strips of two and a half inches and now it comes the time where I'm just going to start laying things out I already did a couple of cuts I think what I'm going to do is do that and then I will make kind of a box and then I'll decide how many compartments I want I think the tools and stuff will go on one side and then I'll have different compartments for other stuff here so um I think I'll sand these edges here. And I'm going to glue, and then I'm gonna use some hot glue, and I'm gonna basically <laughs> make it look like a weld, because I'm gonna paint this all black. I think the glue is gonna, what gives it the uh, uh, strong long hold, and the hot glue is going to hold everything into place, and of course give it some um, stability as well, so. It's cold in here, so that's drying really fast. See that?
So what I'm finding is because I'm using the uh, hot glue here on the seams, my corners aren't matching or they're not fitting. So I'm just taking a little over here. I'm taking a, a chisel and I'm just kind of knocking off the little corner here. That was more of a corner than I wanted to knock off. There. And then that fits and it goes right over your glue. course feel free to do this in any configuration you want um, I think I might make another one of these I've got a whole bunch of PEX couplings and fittings and a, and a cutter and a crimper all that kind of stuff I think I might do this again but uh, I'm just doing this for the wire nut cutters and stuff uh, I did find out this tool which is awesome if you don't have one of these wire strippers I have a link down in the description just using it for say putting in four outlets is worth it um, but I'm finding out is it's not fitting in where I wanted it to fit so I am actually gonna stick it in right there that's why I made this compartment here I'll put little uh, spacers in here too so and then the other tools will go on the side I believe that's the last one. We'll let that dry and then I think I will paint it. I sprayed the pop uh, of the backing here when you weren't looking to. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like these little guys right here are slipping past. There's just enough room for them to slip past. Uh, all the uh, nuts, wire nuts are staying in place. 
I think I could live with that. Maybe I will, I could add some foam or some padding up here. So when it closes, um, it'll close that gap. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I've been looking forward to doing something for that for a while. I've got tons of these. Um, maybe I'll just start making uh, more use out of these instead of having them up here for display. So, oh, again, some other things you could use these cases for. Uh, I'm going to try doing a PEX fitting and crimping tools and stuff like that. Uh, maybe you could put all your biscuits, if you have multiple size biscuits for your biscuit joiner, you could use a smaller one and, and put them all in there. Right now I have three different sizes and they're all in different containers. Uh, maybe you could use it as a toolbox. You could also do uh, your hot glue gun and your glue sticks. You could custom create a, a for that I don't know I think there's endless possibilities um, you could probably even put uh, oil paints and acrylic paints if you're an artist that would be kind of cool to show up and, you know your dual painting. anyways I hope this gives you guys some ideas you don't have to do it exactly the way that I did it you could build the insert that goes in and out and not glue the bottom and then put all the edges. You know, you can make it look a little prettier than I did. You could use uh, bigger or thicker plywood or you could use solid wood. You could align the whole thing with cedar if you wanted some kind of nice smelling chest or something. <laughs> so hope that gave you some good ideas. Appreciate you guys watching. I am Gary the Bearded Woodworker. We'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you like what you see. We'll see you again.